Do you want a hand jog? Okay, this is where dogs come in very handy when the sheep go the wrong way. Who's faster? Some yell mules or spot. Oh. Right, mob team, come on. Morning, mum. Good morning, sheep fans. Cami's the name. Sheep is the game. And today, we have a few lambs to go through. About 60 or so. And by lambs, I mean last year's hogs. Or last year's lambs. You know, we would now call them hogs here in the UK. And, yeah, lamb prices are record-breaking. At the moment, record-breaking. So it's nice to have a few left to sell. Are we... Stand, uh, lie down, lie down. They don't do stand, Fern just does what she wants, look at her. Howie, you can get away with it on these lambs, I wouldn't do it with pregnant ewes. Lie down. There she goes there, better. Come by. Where are they? Oh Jesus, Fern, like a bullet. That speed and vigour is handy sometimes, you know it is. If you're working with big mobs of hogs, it can be quite handy. But apart from that, it's just a nuisance. Lighten you! Spare you! Come on, you! Now, stop it, you! Couple of lame ones. It's all the problems you're left with at the end. Good dog, Meg. How do you feel? Bad feet and sometimes bad joints, although I think I don't think we have any of them left. But quite often we have some, you know, you have a stiff leg and you can't take it to market. It's a crazy system here in the UK, like if it is. Even if its foot's not lame. So say it's got like a fused joint, maybe from a bad bit of joint ill or something. You can't take it to market because trading standards like oh that sheep can't walk properly but it's like it's never going to be able to walk properly that's just how it is now so you're left in a spot where you just waste all this meat because it's got a stiff leg like it's a bit of a crazy system that's one thing if it lame sheep fair enough but if a sheep's never going to come right what do you do with it far better to hang it up and somebody gets the benefit of it most of them easy cares from michael blanche some of them are our own texo hogs i mean that'll be a big hog there I'm not even weighing them today because this time of year it's a waste of time. It's if they're fleshy at all, they're gonna go. And to be honest, if they're not, we might end up. Right, that's enough. I need to get this gate sorted. We put this system in here, but now the gate needs to move to here. Right. That's on the to-do list. So we're just going through. Maybe I should get a can of spray because I'm hoping most of them are good to go. I mean, these easy cares aren't going to be flash anyway, they're not going to command a premium, that's for sure, but... Oh, it was the one I didn't want to take. Oh well. Do you know what? It wasn't that bad. And the reality is, the way lamb prices are... It's going to be okay. They're all good money. They're all good money. There is an argument for... Some of them aren't fleshy enough, for my liking, but... I could leave myself five or six lambs that are going to be a nuisance, or we just get them all away. No, I'm going to leave myself five or six. There we go. It's like that little lamb there. Didn't, didn't, didn't like it much, didn't like it much. Right, gate shut. I think we can shut that top deck. Hop, hop, hop. Oh, took me right in the left knee there. Stone mad. Jesus, that was that was it was lucky because it's just bashed the side of my knee. It gave me a bit of a dead leg, but it's not actually damaged the knees. Jeez. Wow. Of course, what happens with hogs? Even if they're not getting, in, they're, they're always getting a wee bit heavier, but they're getting leggier, so they can jump higher and run harder and all the other problems that come with leggy animals. The really ridiculous thing. Jeez, try to do me again. Needs a friend, you don't want a sheep by itself. The really ridiculous thing is the tapari sitting right here. But I'm doing all this manual work. Just because we've got it packed up to go and help to back the cheviots. And I'm too lazy to unpack it. Hard work, I tell you. They're just in the bit. 
A bit wild. That's a big one. Jeez. One good one. You could not write this. That wild sheep must have knocked the taggers off the post. Oh, into the foot bath stuff and I should definitely be wearing a glove. But we're not going to because I don't have one and it's just easier just to pass on. Right, market time, market time. Or oh, other news. And he's looking for a nice soft, soft shell jacket. We have them on the merch store. Current ones have a slightly more modern logo. But they are good. If I give you a quick walkthrough, we have tape seams. The new ones have the pockets stitched in, but the pocket flaps a little bit in this one. But the new ones have it stitched so it stays in tight. That was this was a prototype. Nice taped zips. Pocket big enough for the Pro 12 Max or whatever it is. Fits your whole phone in. And the best bit, in my opinion, well, two best bits. Long tail back. Cover your bum from getting wet. And uh, rib cuffs, which you don't often see in a soft shell, but I just love rib cuffs, if I'm honest with you, because, you know, if I've got two, I've got a double hoodie on, so it's not ideal, but, you know, if you want to get it up at the road and hold it up at the road, it stays up there when you're, I'm thinking about lambing, but any kind of work in general, it's handy if you can get your sleeve out of the way. So that's why you went with rib cuffs. Plus it keeps it tight when you're on the bike. Not so much draft. Have a look at the merch store. Don't be shy. Here we go then. Not a glorious pen of sheep. Easy cares, I just, I just cannot get into them. Right, the lambs now, because it's midwinter, they need all to be bellied and crunched, even though they're spotlessly clean and most of them are a bit bare anyway. So we won't get to see them weighed. I need to go away, other jobs to do, but we'll update you on how they sound later on in the show. Dad's here. Dad's Daddy. Daddy. Ah. Oh. here. Gran's not here. Jock, hey. Jock, we were selling sheep this morning. Hey, here. Sold some sheep. Dad's here. Yeah, okay. Right, we're going to go and move some sheep now and then we'll talk you through the, the prices. I've just did the email and it was incredible. Put your foot down. On you go. The CF Moto one starts at 50cc, which is still a little bit too big for him. That one's very slow, so it's ideal. Right, let's get Spot out a little run. We're going to bring the singles in, but mixed in with the singles are a few empties which we need to pull out. They'll probably go to market this week, although they're very handy for running Spot on. Do you think I should try and do some sheepdog trials with them? Will they be good enough? And I finally remembered my whistle. Now, for anyone that hasn't seen this before, this is what I... A dog whistle looks like, or a sheep dog whistle, I should say. Different to like a dog whistle would be like high pitched, so only the dog can hear it. Whereas this is more shaped, so that you can make different noises with it. So <whistles> that via stop usually, and then <whistles> right where like walk up. <whistles> oh, so it's getting worked up. <whistles> right via side, or <whistles> that would quite often be walk up. What else should we have? Can I wave from one? Might be to bring them back. I'm not an expert with it, by the way. I've not hardly used it in the last... Pff, since I was a wee boy and I learned to use it, to be honest with you. And only learned to use it because I seen my dad using it. And never, not because I actually had a dog that was on the whistles. Okay, right, spotty. We'll get some work with you and we'll try the whistles. I need to check to remember what means what again. Okay, so I've not looked up these whistles like I should, but I've got the drone up. We're going to bring Spot here. So I'm going to use the drone and follow Spot here. Oh, he's a bit shy. He spot, see? Look. Are we? Oh, he's off. Jeez. He's beat me already. Are we? He's a bit direct. Far too direct. And he's went left. That was okay. He seems to prefer left. Stand! 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 Oh, he stands good. I've lost the drone because I'm trying to get my whistle. Ah, oh, that's good. Well, he stops good though. Look at him here. You watch here and I catch up with the drone. 
Right, he's creeping up on there now. Stop, look at that. Boom. And he's fine! Good, what's good with the drone as well? Great to see. Right, let's stand! Let's go and see. Dog is here on the quad bike. You can help, but what spot? What spot? Right, now I've not set spot up in any way here. No! You'll want to run left. Actually, I want him to go left now anyway, so that's okay. Let's try, here we go. Stand! Come by! Okay, here we go. Can the drone keep up with him? Jeez. Jock's getting upset because he wants to hold this drone. You can't hold it, Jock. That's. You can't hold it, my boy. <laughs> look, look, watch spot. Stand! Oh, good stop, even just for the stand here. So. What? Good stop. No, Dad has to do it, Jock. You're some boy. My it. Stand! Stand! Come by! Stand! Stand! Stand here! See this girl at the back here looking sad already? See that? Bad sign. Now look at that sheep instantly. There's something wrong with that sheep. Now my first thought, she's not lame. Like some sheep are. My first thought looking at that sheep, I'm thinking, Stand! I've got myself convinced we have a bit of OPA in these mules. So if that sheep wasn't in lamb, I'd be culling that sheep immediately. Because I think if you're working with sheep now and you have a sheep fall back like that, she's not bad to the feet. She's nodding like that because she's, I think she's rasping a bit, struggling to breathe. So that's a sign. You see on the drone here, I'm just approaching. Try to balance the drone. Stand, stand. Don't want the dog pushing her too much. She's going to be a problem for us. She has been treated for a sore foot, but that, I don't think that's the problem. The way she's wobbling about there and shaking, I think I think she's got breathing problems. In fact, if we go close, I think we can see her panting, can we? Mm. Nightmare trying to drone, kids, GoPro, what the dog. Stan! Any spot? Any spot? Walk up. Stand. Stand. Do a hand jock. Do I put it in the back and come with dad? No. No? You're just going to push it all the way? It's out of battery. No batteries. You come with dad? Come on, let's lift it up here. Okay, so as I said, mostly singles. There will be the odd empty. I think as he said, maybe eight. I think we put most of the empties in here. Did we? No, there can't be eight. There's the girl with the blue head. Oh, this is in the middle. She definitely doesn't look great. Right, spot you way inside. Some of the green ones. The green ones empties as well? Aye, the green ones are the empties. Are they? Aye. Greens are empties? Oh, that's such a nice sheep. That does not look like an empty sheep. Why would I do green for empty? But then why is there only two greens? Watch out, jockey. We'll just try to work out what we did with the marks. Stop it, stop. Ne need to watch the video back. Right, you sheep game for a second. Okay, okay. 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 No lambs. No lambs for them. No lambs. No lambs. Go show your tractor. What's there? What's there? What's there?
Don't bang that joke, jeez. Okay, so, jokes, jokes tired. We've decided that greens are empties, which makes sense. Because triplets are orange, singles are blue. Why else would you use green unless we're running out of red? I can't remember that. But I have scanned so many sheep, it is hard to remember. Right, I just want to light a few of these away just now. There's one green left. She's a really beautiful Texel thing. Quite gutted she's empty. She's a beautiful sheep. Come on, girl. In me, pals. In there. There's some there. Okay, we've confirmed from the scores there was three empty. There's three greens. Lizzie's right, as always. Greens are empty. That's not a good sheep. That's a good sheep. I mean, these are these will be worth 140 quid. These. I mean, this thing might be 160 pounds. That's a crack, cracking sheep. That. Oh, she's a beautiful sheep. That. It's a shame she's empty. Quite disappointing. But anyway, market for them. Are they going on Monday? Okay, yeah, Lizzie wants to go through some of the ewe lambs, which a lot of people are doing this year because f the fat price is so exp so high. A lot of people are sending breeding stock, or their poorer breeding stock, to the fat ring to go into the food chain because it's just crazy prices just now. Um, so I think we might do the same. Just the ones that are like bottom end, maybe a bit shorter or not so good for keeping for breeding, we'll sell them uh, into the food chain. Right, back to the field with these. GoPro won't give you the best footage, but second to the back there, that was the girl that was falling back, looking a bit pecky. We gave her some Draxon, just in case it's a touch of pneumonia. You definitely, I mean, she has been done with a sore foot before, but her feet aren't bothering her now. It definitely looks like more of a breathing thing, eh? Yeah, she was coughing a bit in the yard, so, wasn't she? Yeah, so, yeah. I've always got this worry, like, pneumonia should be the first, you know, uh, thought in these situations, especially a young sheep changing weather slightly. We've turned to rain today. Can sometimes bring it on, but I do. I am terrified of this OPA thing. Like it's, uh, you know, we had a sheep away last year that I was adamant had it, and yeah, we're just culling hard anything that looks dodgy at all. But maybe we should scan, and maybe we might, we will scan it, make a good video, get somebody in to do some OPA scanning. Okay, next job of the day. Try to be mic'd up for better audio for you guys. Is to move the triplets in with. Or other triplets which are way over there. Now, tricky job because I don't want them getting stressed. They've followed us this far, but now they're starting to drop off. We're going to bring Spot off here. Down, Spot. Look, look, look. Come by. Now, stand, stand. We really want these girls to go at their own pace. They're going far too hard there for a start, so let's just stand back off them, although we don't want them going that way. Are we? Oh, I really like this dog. Stand, stand. Look at that. Beautiful. I like this dog. Stand. Really need to get my whistles sorted or it will start to forget them. Stand. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, this is good. This is good. This nice of a dog that actually listens to you. Ach, Meg's not bad, to be fair, but this... The exuberance of the youth of this one, I suppose, is, is a new thing to me, because Meg's just been getting so slow and always looking for a shortcut. Unless he's going to get the lick buckets. Nice and canny, see that? That's nice. Stand. He's only two. He's not done much work in the last six weeks. So he does have a little bit of... You know, when we brought the singles in earlier, I was getting it out of his system a little bit, of hashing about that was a bit untoward, but look, he's still sitting there, sheeping away from him. I'm blaring away, confusing him a bit. He's looking for a command, but I've not given him one. That'll do, Spot. Good dog, Spot. Good dog. We'll get the whistles, boy. We'll get the whistles. I need to sit and study them. Okay, so mid-move, we decided we better just pop these girls through the foot bath. So we're just doing that, they are in incredible fettle. And fettle means uh, condition. Just getting them started, it's a tricky thing. Couple limping, of course, being so heavy doesn't help them with any feet problems. They're getting a little bit of panting, there's nobody really panting with the tongue out, so I'm not too worried. They can go straight through the foot bath. This is some of our lame lambs, etc., that we're treating that couldn't go to the market this morning. There we go. All those feet sheep through the foot bath, just like that, and we'll let them stand. Let them stand, let it dry in a little bit.
Okay, so now we are gonna talk about these lamb prices immediately after we put these ELUs out. This will be a real test for sport because these girls can run. Can you go backwards a little bit, girl? Backwards a little bit. Backwards, backwards, backwards. Why you didn't spot the loose spot? Oh, oh spot, that was a close one. Look at them going wild. Now they're gonna run right past the gate here. Are they? Go left, go right, please. Ah, oh, you sheep. You sheep. Knew that would happen. Okay, spotty. They're stone mad, they'll jump the dike. Come back, they'll spot, come by. Stand, stand, stand. Are we? Stand. Stand! Stand! Oh, would be. She'll come round. Oh my god. Stand! Oh, didn't get time to change the gate. They're absolutely stone mad. A meal you with no lamb in her. Well, a meal gimmer. She'll suss it out. Everybody stay calm. Okay, this is where dogs come in very handy when the sheep go the wrong way. Come by. Ooh. Who's faster? Some yell mules. Oh, Spot. Spot's got them. Stand there. Stand. Stand. They're going fast enough. Stand there. Stand. 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 Beautiful. Well done, Spotty. Good job. Okay, so lamb prices are up on the screen. Let's talk about them briefly. Incredible. Incredible. What, what more can I say? £168. That's the most expensive lamb we have ever sold. And there was a few of them there, seven. Texels, so that was good. Those are like the lame ones that we couldn't sell store. And now they've made £168. Wow. And then you see at the bottom there, 40 kilo easy cares. 40 kilo easy cares not even particularly fleshy they were okay 144 pounds unbelievable trade there's lizzie so that's yeah wow what a time to be a sheep farmer anyway it's all needed as they say it's all needed that's it for this one sheep fans i'm gonna go and deal with some screaming rains see you for the next one